Here in this video I'd like to show you how to change language in a MacBook keyboard and that's a nice topic to, to know about or a nice feature to have because a lot of times we want to switch to a different language whenever typing documents to access different characters and stuff so let's just get, get started with this. Of course, just open up System Preferences. It's at the Settings icon, or you can click on the Apple logo in the upper left corner, and System Preferences is right there. And here you have to navigate to the Keyboard section. So there, when you tap on it, there are five tabs at the top. So there is the Keyboard section, which pretty much allows you to change the brightness of the backlit keyboard and to check if Adjust Keyboard Brightness in the low light is enabled, but also what happens when you press the globe icon, and we're gonna get to that a little bit later, but for now let's jump to Input Sources, which is the most important section, and here you can see and browse all of the languages and keyboard layouts that you can use for your uh, MacBook. So in order to add a new keyboard for a new language, click on the plus icon on the bottom and you'll be able to browse through all of the possible languages and keyboard layouts. So even if you click on something like English or German, uh, it's gonna tell you that there are, again, a couple of options depending on if you'd, what type of keyboard layout you'd like to pick. And once you click on that and pick the one that you want, you can click on Add. And of course, once you add it there, it's going to appear in the section of your active keyboards or input sources. And this pretty much means that these are the keyboards that you can actually switch to without going to the settings and tweaking it there. But what I consider to be really useful is this little thing called Show Input Menu in Menu Bar. And if this is enabled, it means that in this status bar in uh, uh, the upper portion of the display, you can see uh, the flags of the keyboards that you are currently using. So every time you can just click on it and choose a different one. And that is of course really handy because you always have access to this menu or status bar. It doesn't matter which app or which website you're using, you can just always go there and change it quickly. But coming back to the keyboard tab, the thing I talked about earlier was this globe icon. And it's the key that you have on your MacBook in the lower left corner, which literally has a globe on it as well as the F and a symbol. And there are like a couple of options, so you can choose it to do nothing when it when tabbed, but you you can also choose to change input source. And this pretty much means that no matter what you do, whenever you are typing something or writing, you can just tap on it and you'll be able to change the input source, which is the language of your keyboard, in fact, to a different one. So you don't even have to click and go with your cursor to the, uh, to the menu bar to change it there. You have a keyboard shortcut to do that for you. Other options include showing the emoji and symbols tab and a starting dictation when you press the globe icon twice and the other is to do nothing, of course. But on the Magic Keyboard on my iPad, for example, I keep the globe to access the emojis and I consider that to be really useful, but on the Mac I keep this option to change the input source, which is, of course, the language of the keyboard. And I could, would advise you to do that very same way, because I consider this to be really useful. Anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy this video and in case you did, then uh, leave a comment saying whatever you want. I will most likely reply to your comment because I reply to most of them. And you can also leave a thumbs up, this does help the channel, does help the video and it's just showing me that you liked it and I should make more videos like these. Anyways guys, you can also subscribe so you don't miss future uploads and similar content like this in the future because I upload like three videos per week, sometimes even more, so make sure to stay tuned for that and never miss future videos. I wish you a great rest of the day and we can see each other in the future.